five reasons why targeted ads are dangerous to the young. Reason number one, targeted ads teach kids restraint. You see, when the kid sees something it really, really wants, uh, rather than just any random commercial, it sort of teaches them a little bit of more restraint and control. This way, when they get older, they already have learned you got to have restraint and control. But is that really good for people that want to sell products? No. I think if you really want to sell a product, teaching a young child restraint and control is not a good thing because you want them to go deeply into debt. Yeah, we're all debt slaves, pretty much. Reason number two. Targeted ads are personalized ads. And it helps kids decide what to tell Santa instead of like sitting on Santa's lap for eternity. And is that something that Santa wants? No, I think Santa actually enjoys the little rug rats sitting on his lap. So he doesn't want it like, just like a quick visit where they're on and off his lap. As soon as they get on, they're like, oh, I know exactly what I want. Oh, okay. And no, he wants them to like procrastinate. Mm, I don't know, Santa. I haven't seen any personalized ads because they won't let us see any personalized ads, Santa. And I don't know what I want. Yeah, Santa likes that. So anyway, reason number three, speaking of naughty or nice, targeted ads can be weaponized. Say little Susie takes a piece of that little piece of bubble gum from her local grocers. She can then be tracked on her little smartphone and be sent toxic, cheap Chinese toys for tots ads. Yeah, that's right. Cheap, toxic Chinese toys for tots ads. She will then be sent these ads and it will poison her with lead which in return will shorten her little life and she can then become a organ donor for the Chinese government. Yeah, I know it's a little bit out there, but hey, you never know nowadays, right? You never know. Reason number four, only adults should be served with targeted ads, i.e. personal ads. Why? Well, I don't know. That's not my expertise. Go ask an attorney. Duh. Okay, number five. Targeted ads don't really do enough damage. Since all the cheap, toxic foods and toys are pretty much available anyways, anywhere, right? You don't have to see a commercial, in other words, to buy something that's toxic. So yeah, target ads don't really do shit. Therefore, you got to make them illegal, okay? This is where you can really do the damage. You make targeted ads illegal for children because it's always about the children, right? It's always about the children whenever you, you want to do something dangerous for everyone and everything. It's always going to be about the children. Yeah, so that's where the danger comes in. So now YouTubers can be targeted by big Google men. Um, yeah, it's just a word I made up, but you get the picture. Big government, big Google men. What's the difference? <laughs> if you ask me, there really isn't any difference. <laughs> Google is powerful, okay? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. At least big government's in the pocket of Google Mint. So if you really want to cause a lot of damage, you just make targeted ads illegal. And even though YouTubers had nothing to do with it, but you could put all the blame on YouTubers, okay? And then YouTubers could be targeted by big Google Mint, like fish in a barrel. Yeah, like fish in a barrel. Do you even get the picture? This video will self-destruct in approximately, oh, I don't know, a few days, maybe, or 
it's just probably the end of a lot of other types of videos. Yeah. Take care.